Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever this video finds you. I hope you're having a rad time. I'm the Figure Dude, and on today's double feature of Custom Figure Review, I bring you Halloween Havoc, Santos Escobar. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures. Dude. Alright, so first off, I'm a huge horror movie fan. I love scary movies. I love all types of scary movies. I love the big blockbuster scary movies, you know, like The Conjuring, like that whole franchise. Um, gosh, I of course I can't think of anything off the top of my head now. Conjuring is what I think of when I think of big Hollywood horror movies. But um, I love the B movies. I love the, the, the crappy horror movies that you see on sci-fi. I love... 80s slasher films that's like my guilty pleasure i love 80s slasher films whether they're actually good or not um i i just enjoy them and for halloween today i did my cm punk review and i was like and i was debating so i, I was debating whether or not i was going to do the cm punk in his halloween attire or if i was going to do santos escobar in his halloween havoc attire and um i went back and forth and i thought you know what, how about we do a double feature just like the good old horror movie days. So you're getting two for the price of one today. So either you've watched CM Punk's um, review or this you're coming here afterwards. But either way, check them both out. Um, both customs that I am really happy with and I thought I can't leave this one. I can't wait until next Halloween. I'll probably have another Halloween custom by then. So we are going to hop into my Santos Escobar Elite here. Okay, so I took his title belt off just so you can see it a little better. And the actual attire, like the purple, um, goes up a little bit higher, I think. But it, I just wanted to look a little more clean, so I just cut it off um, and let the whole crotch piece stay black. Um, we obviously we got this in basic form, so that's where I got the head from. That's where I got the pur the purple knee pads from. And I did um, I did forget to put the question marks on there. Um, I just I just forgot it was on my shelf and a lot of the time when I have a figure that I'm working on and I forget I like I don't get around to it for a while um, I'll just put it on the shelf and then pick it off when I'm ready to keep working on it so that is what happened with this guy I I had been working on him for a while um, I got up to this point I had other stuff on my desk I have so many customs I'm always working on so sometimes Things sit there for a while before I get to them. And I just put him on the shelf just to kind of make space. And then I forgot to put the black question marks on there to fully finish this custom. But I'll get around to it. I always get around to things eventually. Um, so we got Raul Mendoza and we got Joaquin Wild, I think it is. And they have the matching Halloween Havoc um, face paint. And these are the normal basics. Their chase basics came with the non-painted heads, which I have one of them. I do not have the other though. I don't remember which one I do have. Um, but I think these are, they're, they're all pretty sweet basics. The basic of Santos Escobar though, um, is kind of tall and that kind of happens a lot with basics. You see that the scale is not always spot on. They're, they're less, cons a little less concerned about scale with them. Um, but I really it, like he he's, he wasn't a character at first that I was like dying to have and I got the basic because I was it was cheap on Amazon like it had clearance so I picked it up um same with his elite it, it had dropped a lot I picked up a couple of them and um I just got the itch one day to make turn it into a the base to an elite and that's all I got to this point um and it's just a repaint so Here's his normal elite figure, and it's his elite figure, I, th I think it's a, a great figure. Get these two guys out of here, and we'll just compare elite. So, um, it's obviously, it's the same figure, so scale is going to be exactly the same. Um, only difference is I added an elbow pad for the custom. Um, I don't mind that, I honestly, so at first, I did not like the painted on elbow pads. I thought it was just kind of cheap, but... As far as articulation, and it's for like some guys, I think it works really well. Um, when they made um, Akam and Razar, oh, what the heck was their name? 
Authors of Pain. Yeah, when they made Authors of Pain, they put um, painted elbow pads on them. And, like, for those big dudes, it really works. For some of the small guys, I don't think it's necessary. Like, the Santos Escobar has double-jointed arms, and a small elbow pad on him wouldn't have hindered articulation at all. Um, even the big elbow pad, like, it doesn't make that big of a difference. Well, it makes big, <laughs> bigger of a difference than I thought, but, like, that articulation still isn't bad. I just don't think that the small paint is necessary for someone with a small elbow pad, small arms like that, whatever. But um, it's the same head scan. It's just repainted on the basic, I think, pretty sure. And then um, the only other difference is that I took the boot tassels off on the um, custom because he did not wear those. He was more, um, he his attire was more like what Ray Mysterio had um, when he wore this phantom attire at Halloween Havoc back in the day in WCW. And we've seen people do it before. Um, the Seth Rollins, um, he kind of did his his uh, tribute to it, which in a second, I'll go pull that up here so you can just see those next to each other. And unfortunately, I don't have that Rey Mysterio Elite. Um, I had gotten the pink and black and white Rey Mysterio. And for some reason in my mind, I thought, I don't need the Halloween Havoc Rey Mysterio which, looking back, I completely regret. I don't know why I went to pick that up. It is one of his most iconic attires. It's so cool. The event is cool. Like, there's so many reasons I should have picked it up, and I didn't. That is a regret, a, a collecting regret of mine. But, um, yeah, there's my Santos Escobar. I'm going to go grab that Randy Orton. We're going to just look at them a little bit, then we'll be out of here. Okay, so both of these attires are tributes to that Rey Mysterio Halloween Havoc attire, but you can see, I mean, obviously mine's a custom, so the paint, like, the tone's not going to be right on. Um, I did try to match the paint, the purple, to the purple knee pads we got, but I don't think either of these are necessarily like the purple that Rey Mysterio had. They just are, they're both kind of their own takes on that Halloween attire. Um, Rollins, so I forgot the, I forgot the question marks on the Santos Escobar, but Rollins doesn't have, like, the gold markings or whatever on his legs um it was more just he took the question marks he took the paint scheme color and he uh took his shot at Rey Mysterio so they're both they're different I think if you had these on the shelf like you wouldn't even know that they're the same thing um or an homage to the same thing but still it's cool um it's, it's cool to see people shout out that match and that Rey Mysterio attire because it like it's it's an iconic match him and him and Eddie Guerrero tore the house down in that match but unfortunately like I said I don't have Rey Mysterio to compare with both of them one day hopefully he joins my collection and uh, my shelf's a little bit happier for that but that is going to wrap things up for today I hope you enjoyed the double feature if you have not seen the CM Punk one hop over there and give it a view. I'd appreciate it. I appreciate the likes, the comments, the subscribes, all of that. And remember, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy figures. Figure Dude, out.